romantic scenes are often some of the most emotional scenes in movies and television. But scenes like this aren't always scripted. Over the years, there have been several kissing scenes in the Marvel Universe that were completely unplanned, with the actors surrendering to the moment and expressing what they felt the scene truly needed. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Avengers Age of Ultron – Chris Evans Kiss This scene has lived on as one of the most hilarious and interesting moments in Marvel history. We know Steve Rogers and Tony Stark have a pretty interesting relationship, but I don't think any of us could have predicted just how interesting it really is. This scene didn't actually make it into the final movie but it ended up in the bloopers and quickly became one of the most watched moments from the uncut deluxe edition of the film. This scene took place in Avengers Age of Ultron, and it seems like Chris Evans tried to improvise a kiss between himself and Robert Downey Jr. Thankfully, the kiss never made it into the final cut. Avengers Endgame – Tony Stark's Kiss This scene also never made it into the final cut but is a much more heartfelt and genuine kiss than the last one. We know that Tony Stark and Peter Parker have a bond that is unmatched. By all means, Tony is somewhat of a father figure to Peter, and the two have a bond that cannot be broken. Their relationship has not only been clear in the Avengers series, but also bled over into Spider-Man Far From Home, with Peter talking about how much he misses Tony. In one of the greatest scenes from Avengers Endgame, Robert Downey Jr. improvised a kiss between himself and Tom Holland. It wasn't as sexual as you may think, though. Rather, he kissed Tom on the cheek because he felt as though the scene needed something to amp things up a bit. This really showed the bond between these two. Iron Man 2 – Pepper Kisses Tony's Helmet the kiss took place in an alternate opening sequence when Tony Stark begins to vomit over and over again after being poisoned with palladium. He does his best to get out of the air jump that was scheduled for the opening of the Stark Expo, but he does so unsuccessfully. Pepper Potts eventually steps in and convinces him to go ahead with the jump. In a strange turn of events, she kisses his helmet and then throws it out of the plane. Considering the path the writers had laid out for these two in the future, it makes sense that this scene was cut from the series. It would have changed everything, but maybe not in a good way. Go get him, boss. Avengers Take a Knee – Pepper's Kiss With Pepper's previous kiss in mind, she also tried to plant another kiss on Tony Stark when he finally lost his life in Avengers Endgame. This was one of the most heartbreaking scenes of all time for the Avengers series, with fans finally having to say goodbye to one of their most beloved characters. Robert Downey Jr. couldn't have given a better performance if he tried. However, Pepper decided to plant a kiss on his cheek in a deleted scene. But this kiss was ultimately cut from the final movie. As soon as Pepper kisses him, all of the Avengers take a knee to honor their fallen hero but Gamora leaves the battlefield entirely. The scene can be seen in its entirety on the deluxe edition box set of the movie. Guardians of the Galaxy – Chris and Tessa's Kiss This deleted scene hasn't gotten the same recognition as some of the others, but it could have changed the entire plot for the upcoming movies. When Thor decides to appoint Valkyrie as the ruler of New Asgard, he puts his arm around her shoulder. He is just about to head off on a crazy adventure with the Guardians of the Galaxy, but before he leaves, he wants to give her something to remember him by. Thor leans in and acts as though he is about to kiss Valkyrie. With the crew saying this scene was not scripted and was improvised by both Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, I have to admit, this was a pretty interesting way to improvise the scene between these two characters. It's not often that actors allow themselves to be caught in the moment and simply give in to what the scene needs. What are you doing? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I thought it. Steve Rogers kisses Sharon Carter. While this scene may not have been improvised, it shocked many viewers and left them wondering what was going on. 
Steve Rogers obviously seriously missed Peggy in Captain America Civil War. She was the love of his life, and when she passed away, she took a piece of him with her. But things changed quite a bit when Steve decided to make a move on Sharon Carter, a distant relative of Peggy. I know he obviously missed his girlfriend more than words can explain, but to move in on someone so close to Peggy so soon after her death just felt a bit odd and wrong. Thor and Jane Foster Thor and Jane Foster never really had the chemistry that most fans would have liked. Their relationship just didn't work. They were both obviously amazing characters in their own regard, but things between these two were just awkward most of the time. When Thor and Jane Foster kiss as Thor is about to leave, most fans just want to vomit. Their kissing scene didn't make much sense and it was poorly executed as well. Rather than looking like some sort of heartfelt kiss, it just looks like these two are trying to chow down on each other's teeth. Vision and Wanda Mazimov Vision and Wanda had a relationship that just didn't play out well. It seems like most of their romance and love took place behind closed doors, so fans didn't really understand the extent of their commitment to one another. This led to their kiss in Infinity War being one of the most uncomfortable scenes to watch. Last we knew, these two almost hated each other in Civil War, but now we're supposed to believe they are wanting to live happily ever after with one another? The scene just didn't make much sense. T'Challa and Nakia This kiss scene was much different from the others in the Marvel Universe. T'Challa and Nakia had an obvious romance that was clear from the start. When Nakia rescues him, T'Challa doesn't make things weird, he just thanks her and asks her to stick around. They then share a very private kiss without anyone else knowing. What's pretty interesting is that none of us likely saw this one coming. Yes, after it happened, it made a lot of sense. You need to fight for what I love. Why should I? Tony Stark and Pepper Potts Finally, Tony Stark and Pepper Potts shared what many fans felt was a forbidden kiss. The tension between these two had been apparent for quite some time, but there was something about being on a rooftop surrounded by a burning city that really sealed the deal for these two and led them to kiss after holding back for so long. It's okay, right? Yeah. I'm not blaming again. I think it was weird. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.